Uh, I've got two special guests up here on stage with me. Um, this is Maggie Good and Emily Whipple. And uh, we just wanted to highlight some of the fruits of a partnership with City Impact, which is an organization that First Free has been involved with since its planning phases. That was over 15 years ago. And um, I just wanted to talk about a new program that is between City Impact and the members here at First Free. It's a student-to-student -student peer relationship. And I'd like Emily to just describe a little bit about what that is. Okay. We, me and Maggie, we have a little mentee. She's a little eight-year-old girl. And everyone who signs up for the program, they get a little mentee, either a boy or a girl. And our goal is to help share the gospel with all the, with our little mentees and just help make disciples who make disciples. All right, well, thank you so much. And making disciples make disciples is part of our E412 process here at First Free. So I'm great, I'm very thankful to see the students looking into that. So, um, Maggie, tell me about the goal of last Saturday. Last Saturday, we went to Matson's Bowling, and we just wanted to build relationships with our mentees. And so we met with them, and we're supposed to share a verse with them that God has been teaching in our lives. So Emily and I each shared a verse with her, and she just loved God's word. And we asked her what she wanted to learn while in our relationship. And I asked her, do you want to learn more about us or more about Jesus? And she says, I really want to know more about Jesus. And she just started asking all these amazing questions, which God just gave us the answers to. And later, she actually trusted Jesus as her Savior. So, this is exciting. So exciting. So, you actually to share the gospel in a bowling alley? That is great. So, no, it's um, just an awesome thing that these girls have stepped out in their faith and actually started a program with a little eight year old girl. And, God had planted seeds in her heart, but it took a relationship with two girls that cared to actually lead her to that point um, where she accepted Christ as her Savior. So um, we're just so thankful for um, the program that was set up as part of our student ministries under Ricky Kennedy and a lot of volunteers. Um, we do 